Welcome in to Between Two Meeples. I am Armando Castaneda. And I'm Tara Castaneda. And today is the 22nd. We are three days away from completing our game, The Silent Storm, by the Exit Team. Cosmos, you guys have done a great job so far. Mm -hmm. um, we've had our ups and we've had our downs, but this last week, I feel like, has been a nice... Nice stretch. So mm -hmm. that's either hopefully we're, either we're getting better or it's the clues are getting easier. I don't know. <laughs> Something's going on. But if you want to find out if we can get through today, stick with us because we're about to kick it off. Okay. So on this 22nd of December, you push through the door and it closes behind you with a crash that is almost more than your highly strung nerves can bear. Your heart is beating like crazy. What a nightmare before Christmas. Once through the door, the floor slopes steeply. You tumble into the depths as if on a kind of slide. It's so dark that you completely lose your bearings. At the foot of the slide, you manage to get on your feet. You hit something hard with your boot and laugh with relief when you realize that it's a flashlight. Is it Christmas yet? You let the beam of the light glide over the walls. You seem to be in some kind of tunnel. You start to march forward and try to organize the clutter in your head. Urch. The crackling of the speaker pulls you from your thoughts. Wow, speakers are even installed in the tunnel? That is, of course, really helpful. I have finally understood I am Burns' instruction manual. You hear the excited voice of the boss. You'll never believe what happened when I pushed the emergency button. I have shrunk us. The entire Christmas workshop, we're just miniature versions of ourselves and we're stuck under a glass dome. Do you understand? Like a snow globe, a child's toy. Isn't this crazy? I have to hand it to I am Burns, a truly brilliant trick to ensure the workshop is not discovered. So the giant isn't a giant after all. It's Gurge, a completely normal person. You complete the sentence of the boss whose voice broke off with a large crackle. And he only seems so gigantic to us because we're tiny. This realization had come over you on the roof terrace when this stranger's breath had misted over the dome of the snow globe. Urge, more important than ever, to find the command center, reports the boss back on the speaker. Using the button on the control panel will bring us back to normal size. No problem. I will lure the stranger away for the time being. I now know how. I just need to turn on the northern lights. They'll keep him busy. He's just walking away, so the pass should be free soon. Hurry and don't mess it up. Grr. You stare down the long, dark tunnel ahead. Have you understood the situation correctly? Whether you stay as toy figures in a snow globe for the rest of your lives or go back to normal life is in your hands. The boss seems really confident in your abilities. Now, how the heck do you get out of this tunnel? Now we open door 22, we're going to find two riddle cards. I feel like they put a lot on this little safety elf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, we had two words here that were bolded. We haven't seen bolded words on a clue in a long time. And it was seems tiny. Seems as in? Like C-E-E-C-E-E-M-S. Does that have two meanings? And he only seems so gigantic to us because we're tiny. I don't know. Let's find out if there's anything on the clue card. Okay. Just figured it was good to, to point out because it's been a while since we had... Yeah, I feel like since like day two or three. It's been a long time. Two cards? Yep, two cards. Uh oh, that means it's going to be difficult oh. to watch. You won't find anything here alone. Follow three spiders to their home. Look inside to find your clue. It's narrow, though. What should you do? Make the entrances wider if you dare to find the answer hidden there. Hmm. Now you're inside. That can't be right. Those tunnels are as dark as night. See those three candles on your table? Shine a light there if you're able. The tunnel's lit. Now find the clue. The answer is ahead of you. Do you think we have to break the board? I think we do. 
I do. <laughs> and it always makes me nervous because, you know, I... <laughs> All right. Well, let's first let's talk about what is. Okay, the code is middle left right. Okay, minute. Let's write that down. Middle left right. Right. Can I see one? Can I look one in this room real quick? You need a light. I don't know. I think it'd be at least worth it. Okay, but nothing there. When we say... Can oh, you read it one more time? You won't find anything here alone. Follow three spiders to their home. Thing that's driving me crazy is all the puzzle pieces mm -hmm. we put back in there. We have all, all the, the those place. are Christmas cookies. You see a spider or anything? I do not see a spider in that room. I just didn't know if like we were just supposed to like punch through the wall or Let's go into eighteen. No spiders in 18. Okay, let me look here real quick. I mean, I ultimately think that we're, we're punching holes in these candles. You want to punch a hole or you just want to rip the box? Oh, look. It's ripped the box. All right. We are tearing apart the box now. <laughs> There's always this, like, scary part. Okay, the answer is two. Okay, and that's in the left candle? That is the left candle. Okay. Four. And six. I hope that's right. I mean, the, the part that I think is weird is follow three spiders to their home. It just seems... Yeah, it'd be nice to know there was like a spider under there or something mm -hmm. that we were on the right path. But I feel like the next line in the thing, so it could just be just a story, just right? Down the tunnel. Yeah. There's definitely something like that out there. Maybe that's the last day. Maybe. I think we should go with it. Okay. So Turn the light there if you're able. The tunnel's lit. Now find your clue. I mean, who knows? Maybe we weren't supposed to rip it. We were just supposed to shine a light into there. Maybe. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well, we ripped it. <laughs> okay. So 
We said middle, left, right, and our middle was four. Four. Our left was two. Two. And then our right was six. Six. Okay. You ready? From uh, yep. Up and to the right. Okay. Down and to the right. Okay. And up. Should be triangle, hex, and moon. It is. All so right. We did it. Okay. It's always scary to you know rip the. Let's see. I think we've misplaced our. Did it again. Sharpie. That's okay. Yep. Um, we'll have to mark that after this, but it is always um, scary to rip the box. I know. Uh, one of the earlier exit games we had played, we had to destroy a lot of pieces, yeah. and it was kind of a hard concept to get over, but to realize that is part of of the game. The game. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, I think it, any legacy game you're gonna probably destroy some stuff our pandemic legacy we were destroying things and, right right so well, we'll see if we were supposed to actually rip those or if we were just uh, <laughs> uh, supposed to shine a light I don't know but uh, we probably weren't we got our answer we'll cross out our or add our date on there and hopefully see you all back tomorrow all right well we hope you enjoyed today's video Please give us a like and a subscribe if you did. Uh, please join us tomorrow for the 23rd. That means we have two days left before we either figure out the culmination of our story. Maybe we grow larger. I don't know. I don't know. Get Santa's pre I'm not sure how this Stuck is going to play out. Stuck in a snow globe forever. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so I'm Armando Castaneda. And I'm Tara Castaneda. This is Between Two Meeples. We'll talk to you later. Thank you.